Okay, so I've been asked to make a city in Tinkercad. Um, we want a hospital, a bank, a government building, a firehouse, a police station, a library, and a restaurant. So first thing I'm going to do is do a search and see what I can find in buildings in Tinkercad. And there's a few things that pop right up. So let's grab this guy and this guy. And I bet you we can make them into one of these buildings. We'll make that real easy. We're gonna grab some text. We're gonna put it on top. Library. Now we're gonna make that much smaller. I'm holding down control as I do that, and it's gonna keep um, as you shrink it, it keeps the um, dimensions in check. So it uh, basically uh, changes shapes uh, evenly as you are uh, doing that. So we've now labeled this building library, and. You know what? We're going to do with something similar over here because this is a boring looking building. And you know what? Boring looking buildings, they look like banks to me. So rather than write out bank, I mean, I could, but I think it'd be more fun to just put a dollar sign on top. That makes that look a lot more bank like. All right. So we have those right there. So we're going to go back to basic shapes. We'll start with that. And we are going to build a, actually, we don't want that. We're going to build a capital, a government building. So the first thing we want to do is change that from 20 by 20 to 1 by 1. By 1. And then we actually want to change the height back to 20. All right. So now that is going to look like a pillar. Let's actually change that. Instead of ones, we'll make them twos. All right, that looks like a pillar. And we're going to put a little bevel on that. And as you can see, when we zoom in, see how it goes a little smaller on the top and bottom. And we're going to increase the side so it's nice and smooth and we're going to also increase the segments and now that looks a lot like a pillar i like that a lot so we're going to do one pillar now if i hit control d and move it over a bit i can do d d d we'll do one more d and now i have them all in a line they're spaced evenly from each other i'm going to group them together and the next thing I want to do is put a little building behind it. We're going to move this guy forward a little bit. And we're going to make him move him over. And let's actually say these are 20 by 32. So we want this distance. We want the width, width of this to be 30. Let's say we'll make that 35 so it overhangs a little bit. We'll highlight both of these and the line. Next, we should put a roof on our government building. I like all right, that roof looks good. We're going to move them in a little bit. Now we're going to rotate our roof and we are going to just make sure it goes on top and again we're going to highlight everything and we want to align it looks like that's actually already perfectly aligned look at us And just so it looks like this is a continuous thing, we're going to make a little floor. And we'll tuck that in like that. Now we don't have any cool windows or anything, but we can design those later if we want. But now we'll take that and we'll write... Capital. Oop. 
and we're gonna shrink this. Oops. We'll shrink that some more. We'll shrink it down. Let's take a look. We're gonna change that from five to two. And I don't love the way that looks, so we're just gonna tuck it in like that. And again, we're gonna highlight everything and center. So now I have a capital building. I guess the next thing we should probably do is we have our capital, we have our bank. Actually, you know what? Let's all, uh, let's group that all together so we don't lose it. We'll get them all in line there. You know, the capital should be a little taller, so I'm going to hold down shift. It's going to make that capital bigger than the bank and the library. All right, we're doing good. Next, we need a firehouse. And for a firehouse, we're going to. Obviously, it should be red. And the firehouse can be a nice, boring, blocky building. But let's take this and kind of oops, shove it in there. And then we're going to duplicate that. Take that and this. I want to group them. Now I wanted to group them first before I group that with this um, because now when I do my aligning, they'll both be centered. All right, now I can group the whole thing together. I got a little garage space. I bet we have a fire truck. Okay, we don't have a fire truck, but we do have fire and a fire hydrant. So we're gonna put a little fire hydrant here and we're gonna search for fire because that was kind of cool. We'll put that on top. We don't want it to be a burning building, but you get the idea. Now we're gonna Rotate that. Put that on the opposite side of the street. All right, so we have our bank, our government building, our firehouse, uh, and we have our library. So we still need a hospital, a police station, and a restaurant. So you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to duplicate this tab. And I'm going to go back to Tinkercad, just this home area. And we're going to search for a hospital. See if anyone's built a hospital. And look at that they have. That's a cool looking hospital with even a helipad on top. So we're going to click on this. We're going to click Copy and Tinker. We're going to scale down our, oh, I'm not going to do it like that. Control Z. Oh, I see. So their windows are all just holes. That's actually really neat. All right. So we're going to highlight everything. We're going to scale it down dramatically. Then I'm hit Control C to copy it. I'll bring it back over here. Control V to paste it. And then... I guess it doesn't matter which one. Oh, look, the hospital's got two entrances, so we're good on that front. Now our hospital is next to our fire hall. All right. 
Now we need a police station. So we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna search for police station. This one looks fancy. See if I can highlight everything and scale this guy down, I sure can. So that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna copy and paste. Because I feel like the police station should be facing the rest of the buildings. Now we got our police station. And then the last thing we need is a restaurant. That's a cool looking diner. Looks like it might have some pieces floating about it though. Let's see what we got. Well, we got some floating pieces. The diner's not perfect. Then you got those. That roof's not attached, I don't love that. We can fix this though. So we're gonna fix this diner by first deleting these pieces. So I highlight everything and I group it. And since I put a hole on top of that, that makes that disappear. Next thing I wanna do is duplicate that. And I can move this over. And I'm gonna take this square and I'm gonna use it to basically delete the ceiling on this piece. See I have that highlighted. I just want to group these two pieces. And Alright, now I have the bottom open. Now the top is the really cool part. We definitely don't want to be missing that. So I gotta grab another hole, another box. Put that down. We're gonna, oops, not that hole. Not that hole there, hang on. Want that to go through. Pull that up that high. Now we're gonna group those. Now I have my diner top. We'll look at it from the top here. We just wanna make sure we're placed on top. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna highlight both and align. All right, now I got my diner. I'm gonna group that diner back together so it's back in one piece instead of multiple pieces. Now I'm gonna hold down shift, make that smaller, control X to take that over here. And I think the diner belongs over here somewhere. But the, the diner got stuck over there. So take this. Let's be honest, the diner shouldn't be the largest building on the block. So make that a little bit smaller. And now I got my diner. Much smaller than the other buildings. That feels more appropriate. Now, I mean, you can add many more buildings to something like this. It doesn't have to be just, you know, the few on the sheet. You could add, I don't know, a, uh, let's see, how about, Stadium. That's starting to look like something, but I don't love it. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice soccer stadium. I like this one. This designer put a lot of time into this. I'm going to shrink him. I'm going to copy him. And we're just going to put our stadium off to the side over here. And that should be by far the largest building here. So I'm okay with it being almost the size of the other ones combined. But that's it. That's how you can uh, use Tinkercad to kind of uh, solve your problems here. Uh, you know what? I want to do one more thing.
before I'm done. Ah, right, here we go. Here's one we can copy and tinker. This isn't hard to design. It's just a black on yellow here, but it's going to save me some time. So we're going to paste that in. Here's a road. Control C, Control V. We're going to group those together. And then we're going to just stretch it right there. And you know what? We should probably have two. So, as all good stadiums do, this stadium goes right to the diner. Kind of like that a lot. We're going to rotate this because I feel like I want that covered section of the stadium to be near the back. And there you have it. That is my little village.